This is a demonstration of the images formed by a convex mirror. This is a concave mirror, that is. This uh, mirror is concave in the sense, you can think of it as a cave, it has like an opening to it, and that's uh, the concavity. This particular mirror has a focal length of 80 centimeters, so between uh, my two fingers here. So parallel rays from infinity would come in and focus at this point, about 80 centimeters away from the, from the mirror. And as we've discussed, the focal point is uh, half of the radius of curvature. So the radius of curvature must therefore be 160 centimeters about out to here. And um, I've placed these two uh, erasers here and here at the approximate focal length and radius of curvature, which is twice the focal length, for reference. So what I'm going to do is start with my nose against the mirror and then back up slowly, explaining what the image looks like. And then the cutaways will, will allow you to see, um, from my perspective, what we're seeing. So my nose in the mirror, then backing up slowly, approaching the focal point, and my image is enlarging. It's getting bigger. At the focal point, the image gets huge. And then just beyond the focal point, you can see the image is still huge, but it's inverted. And then as I move past the focal point toward the radius of curvature, the image is shrinking in size until at the radius of curvature, the image is now unmagnified. The magnification is one. Beyond the radius of curvature, the magnification becomes less than one, and the, the image is therefore reduced and still inverted. <laughs> 